What's up Enigmatic Nomadics YouTube channel? My name is Jax Austin. I am filming for Jamie over at the Vanville party and today you guys are going to see an incredible short bus build, technically a shuttle bus, short shuttle bus build by Wanderboom. And uh, these two fantastic people have, uh, we actually met uh, a couple months ago and uh, they're going to tell us about the rig. So uh, introduce yourselves please. I'm Robin. Hi, and I'm Eric. Vanderboom. Wanderboom. Wanderboom. Uh, Wa Wanderboom YouTube channel. Yep. yep, and Wanderbooming on Instagram. Perfect. And uh, first of all, let's talk about what exactly we are standing in front of. Technical specs, it's a E350? Yep, E350 Super Duty Ford 2005. Um, that we uh, was, a, was a shuttle bus, 11 passenger shuttle bus that we got. And someone had already kind of started tearing out seats and turning it into sort of a party bus. And we uh, uh, got it for a real good price, 3000 bucks, And... Uh, have uh, completely converted it into our tiny house on wheels. Awesome. And uh, why a shuttle bus and not an RV? Well, just for the quality of the construction. Uh, that was our biggest thing was that uh, most so many RVs are just so poorly built and you know they're... Well, and we wanted to do a build out for right, the conversion. And, yeah. We had the materials and we and the vision and you know yeah. Eric had been thinking about it. And so we definitely knew we wanted to do a schoolie or some kind of we you know we started off thinking we'd want to do a um, sprinter van. But those are so expensive and just wasn't with in our budget. So <laughs> yeah, we had this one came up and we jumped on it and yeah, that was that. And you have a, a head start on the building yeah, uh, 20, skills. Twenty six years of yeah carpentry oh, remodeling experience. So yeah, had a had a handy had a, a head start on most people. Yeah, for uh, what they need to do to get things done in this awesome. kind of situation. So. All right, cool. Let's jump inside and uh, point out whatever is significant along the way. Yeah, we, we, we have a closet in our dry bathroom that we put in that, uh, uh, to separate the back area from the front and added a jumper seat. Um, also added this window up front that wasn't there that we were able to find for $40 on eBay and install that and have a nice place for, for the, the Buddha to hang out and watch things and uh, keep an eye on stuff for us. Awesome. You said uh, bathroom and closet, right? Yeah, yep. Just kind of separates the area. This is our a nice little our nice little closet or bathroom area that's a little bit uh, congested, but we created our own composting toilet for the area and uh, got room for quite a bit of storage up there. And awesome. And for those people who are curious, how you made your how you made your own composting toilet? Yeah, it essentially mimics the sea head type of toilet. Um, it's just a five gallon bucket and a one gallon water jug down there, but. Uh, um, you know, instead of uh, buying a whole unit, and I was able to basically just mimic there the, that type of version, so that it does have a, a PVC tube going down in there that I can crank and keep the the coconut core mixed after we do what we have to do, and uh -huh. uh, uh, keeps it all uh, smelling good and uh, working well. So it works uh, really well. Yeah, it, it works, works great. I've, we've had no issues with it whatsoever. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, and then overhead over here, just yeah, a basically a yeah, an closet. overstuffed closet at the moment, yep. but it also has a. Uh, our low-tech uh, curtain holder on there, but uh, our solar is, stuff is all back inside there. The charge controller and our the, the inverter and all that good stuff is all back in there as well. Yep. We can so. take that off. If you want. And uh, first thing people will notice when they enter the shuttle bus is uh, I think the ceiling. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of material is that made out yeah, of? Yeah, well, we 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 covered the ceiling with well it, a couple layers of half ins insulation up in there first, but then uh, it's just the quarter inch Luon underlayment basically that is screwed into the metal framing of the of the bus, and then uh, we contact cemented this uh, grass cloth wallpaper on over the top of it, and uh, you know lined it up. You know they were with you know the joints are uh, are here, so we just the the cedar that I had left from all of the other work. I used uh, to cover all the joints and kind of give everything a, a nice finished look. And uh, and again, this this cedar of, that everything's made of is actually solid, called five quarter. So it's a little over an inch thick cedar that uh, we got from an auction years and years ago. So like, and that's all one board running across, making these three doors. Like all the drawer fronts are all again one continuous board running across. This actually. Will Closes up as well. And That's where your 12 volt fridge is. Yep, the refrigerator's under there, and and then uh, we also had this walnut from an auction years and years ago that we were dragging around with us for a long time, and uh, like 25 years, 20 plus years, and uh, we were able to utilize that finally. And That's 20 what years. And we saw people it. doing the schoolies. You know, you, um, Michael, other people. 
it's like we had all of this material that we'd been dragging around that I'd been asking Eric every time we moved, why are we taking all that stuff with us? <laughs> why are Once we bringing again? this around again? What are we doing with this again? Yeah. Well, and like uh, with the sink here, you can kind of see that's basically what it looked like, you know, just this simple raw walnut that uh, uh, didn't look like much. And uh, so uh, a lot of people were kind of wondering, what are you doing dragging around all that material? <laughs> and that's that's the answer, uh, you know, is what it can look like when yep. it gets cleaned up and gets a nice epoxy uh, coating on it. And, and it brings out all that incredible color and the beauty of it to, to share with the world. So Awesome. Yeah. And uh, what about the, uh, I'm guessing this is, well, I, yeah, I don't know, but our, uh, this is the... Combination, yeah, lounge, lounge the our lounge lounger. area, and, mm -hmm. the, and yeah. our queen size bed. So we'll yeah, get a so. little demonstration how sure. it uh, sure. comes we, to be. That goes out of the way. We we went with the a lot of vans are going with these lagoon uh, table arms. It's just you pull a loosen up a couple of points there, and it uh, come on. Just gotta get the weight right in the middle. You can see our nightly routine. This is our nightly yeah. routine. Oh, thanks, honey. I'll take so that. That slides <laughs> off. <laughs> loosens up with a couple turns and that just comes right out goes out of the way we, we store those typically up in the front uh, seat and then I have this part that slides on out and just rests over on the other side and then two of the cushions fit right down in there right and that becomes our queen size bed excellent yeah. and then we have a little a little hack when Eric puts the bed back I'll show you yeah. It's an, it's an easier for not having to... It's kind of a bear to try and get the sheet on a bed like this every night. <laughs> and so what we do is we just roll our, our fitted sheet back and, it just and just leave it there. And so then when we roll it out for the bed, we only have to put it on two sides. Oh, so very smart. Less, very convenient. Yep. And that is the fitted sheet in... Piece of reflectix that covers the, the windows with a little bit of Velcro like, some, like everyone does. Yep. And we have pieces for all of the other windows on the, the door on the side. And awesome. Else. So let's talk uh, energy. Uh, yeah. You guys are running solar? Yes, we are. We, got, we have two 100 watt flexible panels on the roof. Um, and right now just a one AGM battery that we're using, but we're going to be uh, working on a, our own lithium battery setup that we're getting finished up with, so that'll be another We've uh, had a lot of help with Thank You, thing. Rick. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Seriously, thank you so much. Yeah. That's, that's, that's helping us try and figure out this battery problem, we which also, is another thing that we wanna, we'll talk about later and yeah. later. But we also have a 136 watt flexible panel that we keep outside and we can move around and aim closer, you know, at Get the better angle on the sun in the morning. When you're parked, like a booster. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, and then to the, we can also combine all of them together, so we really can uh, crank it up and get. The, yeah, we did that today for the first time in a long time. I don't know why we weren't thinking yeah, about that, but that getting almost 200 watts of, uh, yeah. of between and all so of them together. So we got our battery to float, so we're hoping that it will carry us through the night now for that just little <laughs> AGM that we're just trying to limp along with. Yep. You know, yep. Awesome. Other situation. Yeah. Excellent. So we have a little. Also, a little cutting board that we have that we uh, can pop right up and help us, uh, you know, save the the good counters for uh, chopping the veggies so, and all that good stuff. Awesome. So one thing that we did, you know, we're a little older, so we've accumulated a lot of stuff in life, and so one thing we weren't w willing to part with is some of our art, and so we designed our van around a, this painting, basically mostly. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's a friend of ours, Mitchell Johnson, painted it. Um, and it, it was our wedding, wedding present yeah, back wedding in 1992, present. so it's very sentimental to us. And a lot of people get rid of everything. We've gotten rid of pretty much everything. Our whole life is on this van. Yeah, it's impressive. Yeah. welcome to the club. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it feels uh, great. It feels great. Like, yeah. I'm, and Eric, you're doing uh, mobile work, right? So if anybody yeah. wants some custom countertops, how can they count, contact you? Yeah, through our, uh, well, wanderboom.com actually is uh, uh, available, but we you can contact us also just right directly on Instagram or on uh, our YouTube channel, Wanderboom. Brilliant. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for the tour. Um, our pleasure. I, I learned something new this time, even though we've <laughs> yeah. known each other for a while. Yeah. All right. Check them out, guys. Wanderboom.